This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized chargers and use them to produce energy wells. An energy well can increase the capacity of the energy cell you are carrying. Fantastic. This increases capacity. Ooh, this increased capacity will allow you to use an eye, blah, blah, blah. We understand. Bring me crystallized chargers. Shall I begin? Or would you like me to explain? Get producing. I require at least one. Holy shit. 100 crystallized chargers. I only have 10. One note regarding the zonite required to process crystallized charges. The mines on this island have nearly run dry and I doubt there is enough left to produce an energy well. But there is more to be had. Check the distant depths of the world below that is its original source. 100. I thought I was smart by purchasing those 10 charges. Like I was like, haha, I will be able to get a couple of increases with this thing. How fucking delusional was I? 100 for a single upgrade. That means it will be 300 zonite ore for a single upgrade. That sounds disgusting considering that um, out of a single uh, node, a single no mine node, three drops. So that means you're going to have to destroy 100 mine nodes in order to get one upgrade. Okay, now I have to... Oh shit, I don't want to fall in. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't want to fall in. Yeah, fucking take my health, bastards. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Okay, so this is a uh, non required one. Ten arrows, fantastic. Absolutely amazing. The treasures of this temple knows no bounds with ten fucking arrows. Okay, so what's this? What? Oh, okay. Oh, I understand now. You don't stop both of them, you only stop one of them. Yeah, but that's really... Uh, that's convoluted. I don't think anyone is going to use that logic in puzzles. Like, if they bring out puzzles like that throughout the game, it's gonna be impossible. Like, 
Nobody thinks that way. Is it there to the shrine of light that which imprisons blah blah blah? Yes, we've heard this uh, this speech three times already. It's another Dragon Ball, thank you. It's number eight once again. And a little bit of red smoke. And now we can uh, take our four uh, Dragon Balls to that uh, lady. She told us to go fuck ourselves with three Dragon Balls, but apparently four Dragon Balls is the magic number. Why would I use these aeroplanes if I can just teleport now? And I have to go back to the temple in any way. Look, I, I am high as a motherfucker right now. That much is certain. But I can literally just teleport back over there. That's also very, very high. Oh, but then I don't have an aeroplane. Um, but I don't think I want to... Um, really... Go outside. I mean, I could. I could just get on an aeroplane and float as fucking far as I can maybe float to that uh, um, volcano over there and hopefully there will be a, a teleport point there you see that's the issue like if, the, if there isn't a teleport point like then I'm screwed so far that I've seen the only teleport points are these um, shrines, uh, that shrine, that shrine, that shrine, you know, so all of them are shrines, so I would have to complete a shrine on three health bars, which might not be possible. I don't know how difficult the other shrines are. All I know is that three health uh, bars for me right now is already an issue and I'm just in the beginning I'm not even like in the late game shit um, so let's first get our uh, four dragon balls to the lady and then after that maybe we can come back here I mean I can use it now you know there's nothing wrong with using it now but um, I'm not really going to get much benefit from it, I don't think. You can use it just to practice, but the issue is you can't... You can't launch it just as is. That's the stupid thing. Well, maybe I can. Like, I actually tried earlier, but it didn't want to slide, and then all of a sudden it just fucking started sliding, so I don't know. Maybe we can do that. Just want to see if there's not anything interesting up here.
Oh, that was a... Uh, artifact and a half. Come on, birds. Die, bird! One raw meat. Come on, bird. It looks like there's water, so it's not just land at the bottom, there's a shitload of water. Look at that, all of that is water. So, I thought there was like literally land down there, not just a shitload of water. That's stupid, in my opinion, water, like just making the entire map water is uh, a lazy way of uh, designing the borders of the the world because then they just make everything water and then when you try to get like on the other side or anything like that you know past the water they will just make the water infinite like literally infinite water like it's just lazy Instead of putting up proper boundaries and proper mountains or whatever stuff like that, there's just fucking water. Like there's obviously land down there, but apart from that, it's fucking water. Like there, you can actually see a good amount of land there. I'm assuming we will be able to get over there, even though that really looks like auto-generated land, which means it's not real land. It's just basically landscape a lot of games do that they generate land like that i mean you can see there's no no distinct stuff on it and it even has little spots on it that is very um indicative of auto-generated land so probably all of that that entire area is auto-generated which means you can't go to it it's just there to fill out the landscape so that you look and see oh wow look at all of that land meanwhile none of that is real land none of that is real land none of that is real land that is real land right there that's real land all of that but all of that shit is not real and all of that shit is not real either but we will see we will see when we get there can I actually go into this tree maybe? Holy shit, that was a big uh, graphical anomaly. What? Hot? What? Hot? Hmm, water. Okay, nothing else. What's that? Oh. I'm not sure what these Koroks do. What hot, what hot? No, go down. Down, down, down. Down.
Let's see if we can go to the dragon. Probably should have saved first. What was that? Don't tell me something is going to happen. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Okay, so that's stupid. You can't... You can't fly. Well, you can't... Um, uh, like... Go where you want. That's really stupid. So much for being an open world game, I guess. I don't know if... The... Aeroplanes have... A time limit on them? Like an outright time limit, you know, like a minute or whatever, you know, like maybe the um, aeroplanes automatically despawn after a minute. You know, that would be fucking stupid. Oh, shit. Now, that would obviously be really fucking stupid. Um, and I don't know if... The... Yeah, I don't know. All I know is it would be really, really stupid if, like, there was, was a hard limit on the time that you could uh, fly one of those, you know, like a one minute or whatever. Because I don't know what happened there. They just... Uh, the thing started flashing green and then started flashing green faster and faster and then boom gone which wouldn't make sense because um uh raw 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 said that they used those to uh, travel the lands and all of that kind of stuff you know so um Obviously, in the lore of the game, they use those to travel far and wide, you know. So far, you can't even see it, and yet I can't even travel one minute on it. It would also have been cool if you could dive, like... The game doesn't have any diving. Like, they, they really missed an opportunity with going underwater I would have thought that would have been really cool honestly this flashing is so irritating why don't they stop the flashing after you know 20 seconds like the fucking player knows after 20 seconds of flashing the player fucking knows their health status. Like, it's not necessary to continue doing the irritating fucking flashing. Seriously. Now I need to do the shit again. Can't I just take the normal way up, the easy way up? This is stupid. Like, I understand it, having to do the challenge once, you know? Yeah, 
You have conquered all the shrines, claimed the light of blessing. I exchange, you will grant you power. Boom. You want a heart container. Now I want seven heart containers, please. I shall grant you the power you seek. Wow, amazing. Whole one extra heart. All of that fucking work. Four shrines. How long have we, we, we been playing now? Like, seven hours? Seven hours for one heart. What to be fucking kidding me? Now my hand is blue. Ah, good. I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. We're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Our time together has been brief. I am so happy that we finally met. You are exactly as Zelda said. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. He pulled an Ugwe on us. He did the good, good old Ugwe. Holy hell.
You must find me. Is the stupid one who gave away her uh, galaxy tab. We could have just uh, tracked her through the galaxy tab. Easy as pie. Game over in five seconds. Just send that uh, location pin and then we can find you, princess. Okay, so now I'm assuming the game is actually unlocked. Previously, it wasn't unlocked. We tried to go out of this area and the game told us to go fuck ourselves so i'm assuming now it's it's uh possible let's just in cases we fall to our deaths let's just save okay um okay so where do we actually need to go okay it's well it's pretty fucking far considering we started here and ended up there like seven hours later so uh, that over there is pretty much double the distance uh, of this so um it's it's far it's, we're not going to be able to jump over there okay that is maybe the castle the um, Hyrule Castle or whatever it was. Um, I'm not really seeing any shrines. I'm trying to see their usual green color. But I'm not really seeing it. It's difficult to see through all of the fog and stuff like that. Because then I would literally just jump and d land next to the nearest one, you know. But that's probably not going to be possible. So we should aim for that water over there. There's also some evil stuff over there. Oh, is that a shrine? That might actually be a shrine. Come on. Okay, we can try to get that one. Oh, but we need to land in water. So we're not going to be able to make it. Oh, there's another one. Uh, come on. Okay, that's close enough. Okay, that's close enough. Oh, there's another one. That's close enough. Okay, we've got a couple. Like five of them. There's another one over there. Okay, I'm assuming that dude is evil. What the hell was that? What's that? Okay, we will go have a look. Don't think we can ambush this spicy boy over here. We might be able to.
Well, one hit. Sharp horn with multiple barbs, attach it, blah blah blah. It's interesting that you can steal his apples before... Well, you, you have to steal all of his apples before at even attacking him. You can't even attack him. Um, hey, so we can make a, a, a cart type thing. Look at this ugly line over here. Come on, Nintendo. You're not the indie fucking studio. I rule restoration materials. Use the materials cash for all your building needs. Come find us if you'd like a dream home. Hudson Construction. Okay, so we can... Like, construct it, but how do you steer it? Like, you can't just put wheels on something. You have to be able to, to steer it as well. And with all of this stuff, like, there's no steering. So, yeah, you can fucking make a thing, but, like, how are you gonna get it to move? How are you gonna steer it once it's moving? You can't just steer stuff through the power of thought. Oh yeah, I wanted to go see what that thing over there was. There's also some uh, extra hunting stuff around here, apparently. Sunderlion. I just had heard the crashing sound. Wasn't this that fell out of the sky, was it? How the hell did you see me from all the way over there, you bastard? Come on, I'll, I'll take you on. He's like 200 meters away from me. Look at that ugly bloody... Come on. You expect people to pay $60 for this shit. Why is there black... smoke? Oh, the black smoke is becoming more. What the hell? What is happening? Witness the blood moons rise. When its red glow shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Just as they did in a war long past, the world is threatened once again. Okay, so apparently there's a blood moon right now. I don't see it. You see, there's another thing falling. I think it's just like regular stones. It's not like actually anything special. Okay, so where's all of the badasses now? You can't have a cinematic like that and then just return to the idyllic grasslands like... Come on. Yeah, come on. I, I will take you on. Come on. Ah, oh, you bastard. Ouch, you piece of shit. Stand still. A 
Doko bow. Um, well, it's plus four as well. It's the same as my other one, so it's not... It's not even better than my current. Why are you swinging in that direction, you moron? Yeah, there's another one over there. I don't know if I marked that one. Horse, can I can I ride you? That's awesome. Okay, soothe. No, I don't want to do that for fuck's sake. No, I don't want to do that for fuck's sake. soothing do okay come on let's go um okay well we actually do we want to go how far is that it's actually well it's it's far but it's not so far let's do that that you have a horse will definitely help with uh, traveling a little bit why did it become so quiet all of a sudden change direction holy hell the trees are attacking this fucking texture like literally the right here is a line like come on oh. I'd stay far away from that stuff if you care about your health folks are calling it gloom if you get any of it on you you start losing strength like it's sapping your life away I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths and now look at me the worst of it will recover on its own little by little as long as you're on the surface but while you're in the depths you won't recover at all i thought i was going to die down there sigh investigation leader some investigation leader i turned out to be this is just pitiful i complete i'm completely reliant on daval so i really want to recover by noon okay well i don't know who daval is maybe he's a badass who can Help me a little bit with, like, uh, weapons or something. Maybe give me extra heart. Okay, so I don't want to touch this shit. What's this? It looks like a... Uh, hot air balloon. Oh, you're the wall. Well, you look like a pussy. Hey, buddy. And you've got massive eyes. 
Uh, what's the big idea? You can't just walk up to behind someone who's standing on the edge of a chasm. For one, a nasty accident like that would surely halt the research here. Chasm investigation is super important right now for the Zonai survey team. Even if one researcher had to stop Joshua, who's hard at work on plans over at the landing lookout, would cry. Not okay. Chasm investigation? You know the giant holes that showed up after the upheaval. There are lots of them, just like the one all over like just like this one all over the world. You can't see the bottom. They are so deep, so filled with mystery. We must continue our research for the sake of our dear Joshua. Who's Joshua? Oh. See the tower over there? That's where you'll find our base of operation and Incidentally, Joshua, do you mean that evil fucking castle or just the tower before the castle? Oh, well, so don't startle me again. I'm very busy with my investigation, no matter how bad, how much I'd prefer to be in red bed right now. Next time you startle me, I'll judo chop your fucking neck off. Alrighty then. Uh, okay, so we wanted to go, like, what's this thing here? Like, there's actually, is it the icon? No, no, it's probably the icon for the chasm. But, like, if you could, like, use this thing, that would be pretty dope. But, yeah, it doesn't look like you can actually use that. Horse, are you still standing here? Oh, yes, you are. You're a very nice horsey. Hopefully Nintendo don't uh, send you to the Shadow Realm. Let's see if these uh, shrines are any different from the shrines up in the clouds. I'm assuming I'm still going to get a... Uh, um, ability. Shape rotation. Okay, so obviously we have to get this through there. Like so. Easy peasy. I've never put something into a hole with more ease than that. And then this is going to be the bridge. You don't even need to rotate this one. Just plop it down like that. Bob's your uncle. Do I have to take it with me again? No. Great. Easy peasy. Come on. Where's the difficult shit? Okay, I need to use that to get up there. Okay, I can do that. Um, let's first use this to get up there. Holy shit, that almost squished me. Come on, can't I climb it? That's fucking bullshit. Run and jump. What the hell? I jumped. Run and jump. That's like uh, my fingertips fucking 
about the thing. So what the hell? Speed up four minutes. Well, that seems stupid because I actually have a uh, a piece of food in my inventory that I crafted myself that gives like a fucking ten minute speed up. So that's a really stupid um, reward. Jam it in there. It's not too difficult. Just jam it in there. There's no time for foreplay. Just jam that motherfucker in there. Like you have to rotate the thing to the to the side slightly, but it, it doesn't want to. There we go. The head is in and we are in. And now I can take the rest from the other side. And pull it through. That wasn't so difficult. I don't need to fucking put the thing perfectly. Come on, just jump up. Jump up, you bastard. Grab the ledge. Grab the ledge, you bastard. So fucking stupid that they... Uh, on certain... Pieces, like certain uh, stuff, they don't allow you to ledge grab. It just seems so lazy. Like, it's such a lazy way of artificially making a um, a puzzle more difficult than what it actually is. Like it's completely artificial difficulty. What the fuck? How couldn't you grab there? Grab, you idiotic moron. I mean, his fucking foot is literally right there. There we go, you moron. It's obviously Nintendo who are the morons who can't design a ledge grabbing correctly. Half of the time it works and then you do exactly the same thing again and then it doesn't work. Yes, yes, thank you. We've seen this. Thank you.
Okay, another Dragon Ball. Um, do I need to get four Dragon Balls again this time? And then they kick me out again. So I don't know how many Dragon Balls I need to get this time. Um, I would like it if one Dragon Ball increases my my health by one, you know? One health equals one Dragon Ball, but um, I don't know. That's probably not going to happen. Oh, okay, so we can remove this one. Oh, I didn't even put one here. Okay, apparently I didn't even put one here. Um, okay, but I'm close enough to the thing now. Just avoid the... No, no, no. Avoid the smoke. Avoid the fucking... What are you doing? Avoid the fucking smoke. The fucking horse, like this horse, does not listen. If you could see the keys I'm pressing, like, the horse is just like, fuck no. There's a whole bunch of horse buddies. Okay, now the horse is following the road. That much I can understand. I want those in case we encounter a uh, cold place again. Here's another one of these. Hey, perhaps I can um, attach the horse to the carriage. That would be pretty dope. Um, can I actually do it now? Horse, can I attach something to you? Come over here. Don't run away, horse. Horse, come here. Come here, horse. Hey, horse. They're running away, the bastards. No, they they clearly... <laughs> they clearly uh, do not want a plank or a bunch of wheels attached to them. I can kind of understand that. It's stupid. I wanted to attach like a, a plank to my horse and then I can put stuff onto the plank. Greetings. Could it be the legendary LFP Gaming? Link, it's you. You're back. Where have you been? For 6,000 years. Last that anyone saw of either of you, Princess Zelda was when you... Was when you... Oh. Was when you went to the invest to investigate the gloom. And then the castle rose into the sky and everyone's been so worried about what happened to you both. Pura has nearly worn herself out trying to figure out where you two went. Oh, Pura, the one who uh, investigated uh, or uh, invented the uh, galaxy tab. Okay. Pura is working in that large building over there. Which one? The one to the right or the one in the fucking background? Please report to her right away. She'll want to know you're all right. No, I don't want to fucking climb off. The horse, listen to me. The horse fucking doesn't want to go where I tell it to go. Horse, go to the right. This horse is literally walking like a crab. Like, did you guys see that? The horse walked like a crab. That's how uh, obstinate the bloody horse is. The horse is like, fuck no. no. Link, where have you been this whole time? We hoped you'd come back, but then you didn't, and now you have. Where's Princess Zandal? You didn't bring her with you? Whatever happened, please go talk to Pura first and foremost. She's up in the research lab. That's on the north side of the fort, up on the second floor, Harry. If I was here already, why are you telling me? Obviously, I know where 
it is. So that doesn't make sense. Why, when they literally welcome you home, would they tell you where the specific person is? Like, in what building she is? I'm assuming it's a she. So those balloon things fell from the sky are called Zonai devices. There's still so much we don't know about them. But trust me, boss. Trust my boss, Pura, to take a thing we know so little about and turn it into something useful. She's the sharpest person in Hyrule. A creative genius. Oh, so I was correct. It's a female. <sighs> Mr. Heimerdinger. Ah, oh, what a fine afternoon. Hey, you, where have you been? I'm Erdinger, head of the pad development. Don't answer that, tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. She's busy in a... She's been in a tizzy ever, ever since you and the princess disappeared. Saying someone is in a tizzy is definitely not something they did in the old ages. So why the fuck is it in the dialogue? She's in the building with the telescope up on the... Yes, you motherfuckers. The next one to tell me where Pura is, I'm gonna slap. He looks like a chameleon. Okay, so they have fucking... A whole bunch of shit here. That I can't purchase right now. Hey, I can pray. What will that do? Holy hell. If you know what that word means. In two languages actually. Then you would be. <laughs> you would be surprised. That's a very bad word. <laughs> Why? What is that supposed to mean? I, I mean I know what it means in my language. But what's it supposed to mean in English? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Did not expect to see that word in this game. So where am I supposed to go? This takes me to the other side. But the thing shows over there. Yes, yes, stop saying that word, you filthy bastard. Oh, over here. What? Someone's a sneaky beaver. That hair, those eyes. Da da, doc. Dr. Pura. The swordsman, the swordsman have returned. <sighs> okay, now where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Hey, that looks interesting. Step at a time. What exactly happened? So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. 
You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Raru. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Are you saying you came from up there? I mean, you guys have... Uh, um, balloons. Obviously, you can go where you want. This Raru you met, I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they the one and the same? So much, this, uh, so much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I am certain the mummy you found under castle must be related to the upheaval. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. Then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you? She gave you a clear message to find her. If, that's truly, if that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped somewhere at the castle, beneath the castle, and needs help. That settles it, Link. I know you're only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you too. The captain in charge of the search is named Hoz. Work with him to find the princess and as quickly as you can. I know the mummy may still be lurking somewhere around here. Which is concerning to say the least, but we may have immediate problems to deal with right now. Uh, I'm counting on you, Linky. Why does your uh, clarinet smell a little fishy? Pura, and who's the little one? Does it say a name at all? No, it doesn't even say her name. It doesn't say the name of the little one. Okay, can I go in here? You're telling me there's nothing good. Oh wait, there's another floor. Maybe, maybe. Redemption time. And there's nothing good. Ah. Stairway leading deep beneath the Hyrule Castle has been discovered. Even Princess Zelda, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Boring. 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 Okay, so she hides something under the cushion. Okay, maybe not this cushion. Another cushion, maybe in her room. Well, there's nothing here.
right, so this is literally my, like my, my thing. What the hell does that help? Can I jump down? Okay, will you allow me to buy stuff now? So I first need to go to Joshua with the investigation, blah, blah, blah. And then to the lab at the Hateno village. Okay, and then you will uh, help me with my upgrading my Galaxy Tab to the latest. Stop saying that uh, to the latest firmware. I want to buy stuff. Can't I buy stuff anywhere in this forsaken village? Like usually you would see like a map with markers on it. You know, what the hell is this? A massive steamed bun of some sort. I know this game is Chinese based, but holy hell. Massive steamed bun. Do they keep it there for the win winter months or what? Uh, but like I was saying, like uh, what I would usually expect is a uh, little marker on my minimap or on my map to show me where a vendor is. But there's nothing like that. Are you a vendor? You look like a vendor. Welcome, it's your first time at my store. Uh, it's the only place to shop here in Look Loud Landing. I know it looks a little thrown together, but I stocked a nice selection of goods. I run a store back in my own town, so if you... I hope you'll support me at my place here. Your hometown, I come from a small fishing village called Luralin Village. It's way to the south of the southern corner of Hyrule, used to be a peaceful place too. Then the pirates arrived. I used to run the village's general store, but when those pirates arrived, I had to grab all the goods I could and carry and run. I don't know if it's going down there, blah, blah, blah. I hope I can return someday, but for now, I'll just keep selling as much stuff as I can. Please let me know if there's anything you'd like. Oh. What's the currency that you use? Oh, those green green shards at the top while well, I don't have a single fucking one maybe I can sell can I sell or can I only buy oh is this selling okay apparently this is selling so um okay so we can sell but where's the where's the buying Where's the buying? So all of this is selling. Well, these sell for a lot. Well, I don't know if 110 is a lot. Like, I would first have to see what the prices are of the other stuff. Obviously, two for wood is very low. three for apple yeah this is all very low but where's the buying can't i buy anything or did you first show me the screen because i don't have anything to i don't have any money okay if it will make you happy let's um sell one of those rupees oh 
Oh, so you can, you can only buy my stuff. Oh, that's stupid. So I can only sell. I can't buy. Oh, here I can buy. Okay. 12 for a fucking apple. And I... I sell apples to you at three, so you, you charge a 400% markup. Piece of shit. I've already got one of those, I think. It doesn't say that I already have, but they literally look like the ones I have. Okay, don't want that. And a hood? Zero three. Okay, well, 70. Um... 70 is not too expensive. It's really not too expensive. Okay, but I'll, I'll bother with that at another time. But right now I don't have too much... Too much good stuff to uh, sell, to be honest. So she's literally the only one in the entire bloody place. who sells or who yeah well there's no one who buys so you can only buy those things nothing else that's stupid like i was expecting like maybe an armorer or something like that you know like maybe you can craft some shit some more powerful, um, higher durability weapons or something. I don't know. This is a really shitty village, but obviously we will find um, other places. But yeah, I don't. I like. I literally haven't seen a big city like that. Thing is the biggest thing by far, and then there's no other cities like big cities that I've seen. So I don't know if the game actually has like a nice big city, you know. Um, I would hope that there is, but honestly, I haven't seen anything yet. And yeah, this seems like the entire map. I've got to be honest with you, it does not seem so big. Like I've already ran from... Where were we? We, we were around here. Uh, around this pin, basically. And we ran over here. So that's like... Honestly, maybe... 15% of the length of the map... That we've already ran. And I mean, we did that in like 10 minutes. Ran from here to there, you know. So you'll probably be able to run from there to here in... Less than an hour, certainly. Much less than an hour, in fact. Uh, we stopped for shit along the way as well. We could probably run from the one side of the map to the other side in 25 minutes, I would say. Um, but obviously there's hopefully a lot of uh, stuff to do uh, in, in the meantime. I don't like the fact that at the bottom right it doesn't even change the... Uh, the coordinates you see there's the coordinates minus zero two five four uh comma zero zero nine seven like that doesn't even change when you move that's stupid um anyway i think i'm just a little bit done for today uh, i've put in a good uh session today but i think i'm done for today so um yeah uh you know what to do if you want to support me patreon nexus all of that good stuff the links are in the description below so yeah that is it for today i will uh, play some more later thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys next time